Hello everyone and welcome. You know, a couple years ago I did a review of the Kiwi 601 digital multimeter. But that's not what we're going to be talking about today. Today we're going to be talking about the new and improved Kiwi 601S digital multimeter. Now I came across this new version of this multimeter back during the Christmas holidays and I decided to get it and test it out to see exactly how much it has been improved. Did they just give it a new design and call it good? Or did they make some substantial improvements? Well, I can tell you that the 601S from Kiwis has a lot of really good improvements. Most reviewers will only have the new multimeter on hand and will tell you about its features. Well, I'm fortunate enough to have the new and the old version, so this meter I can show you today how much Kiwis has really improved this little guy. So if you've been looking for a good quality and fully updated multimeter with all the latest features and didn't know which one to get, then stick around as I unbox and test this puppy. All right guys, so when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. So let's talk a little bit about some of the features that this guy has. But before we get started testing this guy, do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. That way you get notified every time I do another product review video, DIY project, or a sale at a big box store where I can help you save more money. All right then, so this is a 601S digital multimeter from Kiwis, available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this kit retails for $52.99. And this little guy comes with a three-year warranty. The dimensions on this guy are 3 inches by 6 inches by 2 inches in thickness. So what do you get when you unbox this guy? Well, you get the meter itself, get the owner's manual that tells you everything about this guy, how to use it, take care of it, all that kind of good stuff. You get some test leads that are about 36 inches in length. You get a USB cable to power this guy up because it does have a built-in battery. And you get some temperature sensor right there. And you get a nice little case to keep it in when you're not using it. Now this is a 10,000 count true RMS digital multimeter with a color LCD display and I'll give you a closer look in a little bit. This meter is powered by a 1200 milliamp hour rechargeable battery so there's no need to be changing batteries all the time. This unit has an auto shut off after 15 minutes of non-use to conserve the battery. This unit has a built-in flashlight for easier use in dark areas and a built-in NCB non-contact voltage tester as well. This meter has both a smart or auto mode and a manual mode so you can select how you want to use this meter. In smart mode, the meter will auto detect between voltage, resistance, or continuity. In manual mode, you can select the test for AC-DC voltage, resistance, continuity, current, capacitance, frequency, diodes, duty cycle, temperature, NCV, and live wires. So in other words, this is a fully capable digital multimeter. This unit comes with a min, max, and average recording for signal fluctuations and an analog bar display. This unit has CAT3 1000V and CAT4 600V rating, plus it's also equipped with double fuses, anti-burn, and overload protection. So now that we covered all the specs on this unit, let's see how does this new and improved meter differ from the previous version. Let's do some testing and some comparison and see how this guy performs. All right, guys, so let's take a little closer look at these two multimeters and see how they differ. Like I said, I'm quite fortunate on my channel to be able to have both the, the new version and the old version. This is the 601 right here. This is the 601S, which is the new version of it. And they made quite a few changes to it externally and internally as well. On the outside, you can see some basic appearance changes. You can see right there that the display on this one is a little bit more attractive than on this one. Depends, obviously, it may be a personal difference, may make a difference or not make a difference to you. But I'm going to point out what the changes are. So a little bit different display on this one over here. They're both in the auto mode right now. And this one I have tested on a couple of things and it is more sensitive than this one, which is something that you would expect. I mean, if you're getting something newer and better, it should be newer and better. So <laughs> it does come through on that respect. So visually speaking, then basically on the outside, this one has a rubber overmold on the case itself and it is not removable. You see, it is basically part of the case. You don't take that off. On this one, it has a rubber overmold, but it's basically removable, kind of like a cover on your cell phone, because you have to take that off to be able to replace the batteries. This guy works on AAA batteries that you need to open up on the back to replace every so often. This one has a 1200 milliamp rechargeable battery built in, and that's why this one is a tiny bit thicker. As you can see right there, this guy is a little thicker than the other one, 
and that's probably due to the bigger battery on this guy compared to this guy over here now as far as the outside appearance the buttons and so forth this one you can select the flashlight right there where this one is a button on the side here and the flashlight is brighter on this one than on this one i'll show you in a moment probably again due to the improved led that they put on the back because they can take more power due to the built-in battery on this one than the AAA batteries on this one. AAA batteries are not going to give you as much power as the lithium-ion battery. Also, you can see on the buttons right there, normally you can go through and select and everything like that, pretty much almost similar over here. On the auto and function button on this one, and this one, it has changed, it has improved. Because on this one, if you, you basically you start off on auto. They're both on auto right now. But if you basically start selecting, you can only go through and scroll through and select whatever you want. You, you have to go forward through the whole menu to go back to the beginning. So you don't have a choice. You, you, whether you push it up or down, it doesn't do anything. You basically have to push one click at a time to go through it. On this one, they improved it. As you see, it has arrows to it. And you can select. You have to hold it. And you basically select right there. Now, you can go forward if you want to. But you don't have to go all the way to the end. If you change your mind, you can go back. You want to go the other way, you go the other way. You want to go back, you go back. So it gives you the flexibility that you can change the selection in any direction you want without having to go all the way to the end again, like in this one. So that's an improvement there. Now, as you see, these guys are lighting up. Whenever you select something, it'll light up and tell you where you need to plug in the test leads. This one will do the same. But this one shows you lights and the test leads you plug in on the bottom. This one, the test leads you plug in right there at the front. It lights up right around the connectors for the test leads. So this one, the test leads are on the front of the, on the face of it. With this one, they're on the bottom of it. So I guess they changed that to make it a little bit more convenient for people. Now, the reason for that, I would imagine, is because when you're doing some testing, your meter is not always going to be laying down flat like this. A lot of times you're going to have it standing up. And also, before we move on, let me show you that the graphing on this one, you can see the graphics are much more attractive, clearer, sharper, easier to see than on this one over here. That's a much nicer scale to read than this one over here. Just wanted to point that out. So basically, this one also has an improved benefit. This one has a stand on the back where you can pop it out and you have a stand so you can stand it up if you want to. This one doesn't have a stand. No stand at all. There's nothing there. This one always has to be lying down. There is no stand on the back. So you have to prop it up against something if you want to do that, or you're always going to have to lie it down on something. So that's uh, an improvement on this one as well. Now, as far as the flashlights go, you see the flashlight right there on that guy, and you see the flashlight on that one. Now, let me turn on the flashlight. You press the button. There's your flashlight. This one, you have to hold the button to get it to turn on, and look at the difference. You can see right there, one is brighter than the other one. So the new one is improved where the LED gives you quite a bit more power. So that's pretty neat right there. That's a good thing to have on hand. And you hold it and it goes off. This one, you click the button and it goes off. So that's the difference right there as far as these two guys concerned. And like I said, also, I don't know if I mentioned, this one is a 9,999 uh, counts RMS. Where this one's a 10,000 count. So you get an extra uh, decimal point on this one where you can get more detailed readings than you can on this one over here. So those are the changes as far as the body, the mechanism, the look, etc., on the two different meters. But like I said, this one is a bit more sensitive than this one over here. So let me show you a few examples of that. All right, guys. So let's take a look at the non contact voltage tester on this guy, which has been improved. As you can see, I'm showing you that this circuit is hot. We're going to test this little guy right there right now. So let's start off looking at the old one. This is the old one. And remember that the circuit tester is right there. That's that little connector right there. So when you put it next to this guy, it shows you that it's hot. It shows you that it's a live wire in there, which is correct. But if you move it up or you move it down, no matter where you move it in there, it shows live for either of the two wires. It's not sensitive enough to differentiate between the two wires, either where in there, it's going to show you it's hot. There's a live wire. I mean, like I said, it's good enough, but it's not going to tell you who's who. So you have to be a bit more careful aside from that. Now, you take the new one, and the new one is much more precise. You put it right next to it, and there you go. One of them is the cold side or the neutral side, and then the other one 
is going to show you that it's a hot wire. There you go. You can't go too far. One of them is neutral. One of them is hot. One is neutral. There you go. I went too far. One is neutral. One is going to be hot. You see? So this one has quite a bit more sensitivity to it where it can differentiate between the two wires that are right next to each other. So that is uh, pretty sensitive right there. That's an improvement over the other one. You can't go too far. It'll lose the sensitivity of it. So there you go. That is pretty good right there. So that's an improvement between one and the other. All right, guys. So like I said before, one of the best things about this meter is that they improved it by giving it a stand on the back of it where the previous one didn't have that. So I set up a very simple little test for you here because I'm not going to go through a lot of complicated testing and so forth. If you know how to use a meter, you know how to use a meter. And if you're looking at this meter, you must know what you're doing because this is not your cheapy low end meter. This is a mid range to a high end meter. So it's a decent meter. You're going to know what you're doing when you get this guy. So anyway, I set up a very simple connection right here where I have uh, one test lead on one end of the wire, one test lead on the other, and a switch in between. Right now, it's in the auto mode. So right now, it's not getting any reading whatsoever because the circuit is broken. If I turn on the switch, then all of a sudden, it starts deciding what is the best way to test that wire. And it tells you continuity, capacitance, etc., ohms, etc., whatever the things that it is that you're trying to find out. Of course, you can manually go through and select what it is that you want. But on the auto mode, you see it does a very decent job deciding what to do. And it shows you right there. I turn it off. There is no reading whatsoever. I turn it back on. Then it decides what is the best way to test it. And it's showing you basically that the wire has continuity. It is a good wire. It goes all the way through. It's not broken or anything. So that way you're testing to see if the wire is good or not. So there you go. Very simple test showing you how nice a display this guy has and how very convenient it stands up. You plug everything in. Just like uh, the name brands, like a Fluke or something like that, it's identical to that kind of a design, unlike the other one, which basically had no stand whatsoever. You basically had to lie it down somewhere out of the frame because you can't see what's going on with that. It has nothing to hold it up. So that's a pretty good improvement right there. Makes it a much more professional meter for, obviously, the people that know what they're doing and want something a little bit better. So that's a pretty good improvement right there. All right, guys, there you have it, a review and demonstration of the new and improved Kweed 601S digital multimeter. I think this guy is a great little multimeter. I think Kweed's put a lot of really great improvements into this new meter. Now, I thought the previous meter was pretty good as it is, but this is a big improvement over the old one. I don't know if they still sell the old version at their store, but if they do, I would recommend that you get this new one instead of the old one. If you want to see a more detailed video of the old meter, I have a complete review of that one also that you can watch. I'll be sure to link to that video so that you can do your own comparison. But from what I see here, I would definitely recommend getting the new 601S from Kweets, an affordable multimeter with professional features that anyone would be happy to use. Check out the links below for all the details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.